Who you want? I don't know. I guess we could just go down again. Start at the top? Yeah. Dots. She looks so confused. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Humphrietta! <laughs> yeah. I love it! <laughs> Especially after yesterday's poem. Doug. <laughs> You're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really. I want to put this on my wall. <laughs> Can I? Sayori. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Good I boy. clicked on 20 words. <laughs> well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. <laughs> Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Humphrietta poem. That's cute. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so <laughs> weird, Sayori. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. It makes if it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Not sure that's exactly how it works. And again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't you try at least giving it some thought? Aw, oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Yeah? Well... I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Hmm. hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. <laughs> sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. <laughs> but sometimes, when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. <laughs> and make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. It is? <laughs> Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Humphrietta. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? <clears throat> Bottles. I pop off my scalp. Okay. <laughs> I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and bottles all in a row. <laughs> my collection makes me lots of friends, each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way, so down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In th they come. In such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Beep. Holy crap. <laughs> Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. 
Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, <laughs> but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. <laughs> so much kind of creepy. Creepy? Oh, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to be used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. No, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Teori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. Sounds like me. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Natsuki. Natsuki! Mm. Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. By now, she must have read it more than once. <laughs> is it that bad? No, no, it's not. It's good. It's really good, okay? <laughs> there, I said it. This wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be mad at this? <laughs> My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously, you think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's ri writing more than mine? Give me a break. <laughs> well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... Natsuki's face freezes like she just realized something. You... you... you're trying to impress me? Natsuki vigorously scans her eyes over my poem one more time. And the poem slits out of her hands and flutters onto the floor. I have to use the bathroom. Red face, Natsuki quickly walks out of the room. Hey, I'm Frieda. Did you do something to Natsuki? <laughs> I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? You didn't kill her family. No. <laughs> I just told her that. My voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Because I'm also trying to impress Monica. Because hmm? I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I mean... Not really. In fact, didn't she like your poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Humphrietta? Cheating? What, what do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't understand the <laughs> joke at all. Anyway... How do you think Natsuki feels about you? No, uh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about. Yeah. Hey. hey! Oh man. This is me! Natsuki <laughs> comes up and snatches the poem out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course! I liked it. Ugh. You should really stop reading things that aren't <laughs> for you, you know? You have a bad habit of doing that. What a savage. <laughs> eh? But Humphrey wrote this poem, and we're supposed to share it with everyone, right? Ugh. Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem was technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Humphrietta is done sharing this poem with everyone. <laughs> it's not like anyone would want to read this anyways. Why is she this way? In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist, should we have gone to the other people first? <laughs> no, she's gonna give it back. Oh, okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh. Never mind. Uh, that's not, not oh, Suki. That's I'll give you the poem, but it's not very fair to Yuri. She hasn't gotten to read it yet. So what? <laughs> well, I guess Humphrieta is right, Natsuki. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. I'm... Natsuki returns my poem. Not like she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. <laughs> and not... no, I won't <laughs> let you keep it. This is my only copy. 
Amy likes spiders. <laughs> you know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wrangly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. <laughs> The world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm gonna tell everyone. I'm so hurt right now. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Do it anyways. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. How stupid and dumb and idiotic. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... It's about how everyone thinks I'm a weeb and should kill myself. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. <laughs> Who cares what someone's like as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least, I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. You know... I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so, so consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always. I'm always honest, jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow too, okay? Alright, I will. Oh, I wonder who. <laughs> Wait, did Monica's name disappear because she read it? Yeah. So we don't get to read hers? Were we not going to read it anyways? I don't remember. Um... Are you still mad at me? Huh? For disrespecting <laughs> Natsuki yesterday. Better put some respect on her name. Because reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you... You prefer her writing over mine. No! <laughs> That's not really true. I love how it's like, you prefer her writing over mine, even though it's actually just like, you like her, and not me. Yeah, you're just clicking on the poem words. <laughs> Meaning when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? I don't know. Yuri. You might be reading into this <laughs> a little bit too much. How could I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. Girl, what? <laughs> Whenever I think before I speak, it just comes off awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep on side come out and people hate me. So, please don't force yourself to be around me. Who hurt her? <laughs> I know this is what Monica wants. But it's not fair to you and you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri, please. It makes it easy for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's, that's all I need. You need humans. Mm. Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I don't hate her, but it, it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I sighed at myself. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no other choice but divide to that request. Um, I want to read her poem. <laughs> nah, she hates you. <sighs> or she hates us. We'll read her poems. Hmm? We'll read her poems. We'll get around to it. Don't okay. Worry. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? No. I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is it about the festival? I like festivals. 
Well, sort of. <laughs> do we really need to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's- oh, that's you. That's a concern of mine as well. <laughs> I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. I feel like she can't not worry. I think she has a problem. Are you okay, Yuri? Who hurt you? We're going to keep this simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Theori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. True. <laughs> uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Spicy. Performing? <laughs> um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. They always putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> So Yori, who's been coloring a poster, hold it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't- you didn't already start putting up these posters, did you? So, uh, well, I- I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I- I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head She's in fear. She's gonna have an anxiety attack. <laughs> Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Nasuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but I still think we should give it our best. <laughs> We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. About expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun! That's right. <laughs> and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. <laughs> Don't you want to share that with others? We've gotten really deep in like, what, two days? You inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. <laughs> I know we all do. And if that's all it takes, is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Suki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Mm. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Got her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! You. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? The... Uh, Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's oh. everyone! <laughs> You're the best, Yuri. Club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. Um, why don't you consider someone's anxiety? <laughs> gosh, Monica. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reading them in front of each other. N no way. Monica. Oh, that's you. <laughs> this is this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Ah, of course. Now let's see. 
Monica flips through her notebook. <laughs> Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Um. Oh man, I quit reading. <laughs> um, Monica begins reciting the poem. <laughs> her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. It's like knows, everything else about her. She knows, <laughs> she knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line as she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before? Or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Natsuki had no face at all. <laughs> the four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That that was so good, Monica. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh I'll go next. Ooh, my girl, yas. Y Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her head and hands and stands up <laughs> between her head. <laughs> she cracked open her skull and grabbed it with her brain. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. I'm proud of her. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets into the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened when Yuri got absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform to sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Yas! Yas, queen! The poem is full of twists and turns and a structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse about the, into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality Snap and glances around her. Oh, oh, there, there goes, goes gravity. gravity. Oh, there goes Yuri. She killed it. As if she bewildered even herself. Hey. It's up to me to save this situation. <laughs> I'm the first one to start applauding. It's up to him. Only he can do it. <laughs> He's the only one. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we don't want to applaud for her. We we're just so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. And here I am, justifying myself to you, game player. <laughs> As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. I'm proud of her. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. So Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Aha. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you how did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sorry begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. It's hard to read this poem on paper. Probably wouldn't uh, think much of it, but hearing it come out of a severe- <laughs> Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply inside someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori... Sayori... Say Sayori... <laughs> Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even him Frietta likes it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It means you're, you hate everything. It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fills you really nice. Fits you, good lord, fills you. <laughs> the atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of. She is such a people pleaser. Why? You just keep talking the whole time. <laughs> I mean, is this what is, we're just supposed to find all the things wrong with these people? Uh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. 
They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's- well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki. <laughs> don't make me go before Humphrietta. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyways. Why are you this way? Who hurt you? I'm sorry. Might as well let Humphrietta lower everyone's <laughs> standards a little bit before I have to do it. <laughs> a savage. Natsuki. 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 It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. I might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection or of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. Pineapple. Kitty. Poof. <laughs> Anime. Doki Doki. Cute. I stand up. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. So I'm not exactly confident in my own writing. It's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyways. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. <laughs> I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in writing. And here I am giving everyone reaffirming words and advice. And it seems like it shouldn't be annoying, but it is for some reason because I just keep talking. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This, the poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting her, the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. Heck yeah. Feel it, feel it. <laughs> it's Natsuki's trademark style. And it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Atsuki finishes it, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Uh, well, you at least feel prepared enough to, us to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... <laughs> well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I would like to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. <sighs> Been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is a big day! I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. You can, can do, do this, this. girl! <laughs> Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club, <laughs> and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, Monica, don't make such a big deal out of it. it must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Humphrietta. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. <laughs> Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. 
But today Sayori is being a little bit quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Huh? Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. Yeah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What, what kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well, oh. Oh. <laughs> Getting spicy. What would we do, Mason? I don't know, what would you do? Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah? <laughs> on the one hand, I'm like, you presumably, like, you just automatically would assume that you would walk with Sayori home every day anyway, so you kind of have a prior engagement. But also, if you have a crush on- if you get the opportunity to spend more time with your crush and have to, like, sacrifice time with your friend, I feel like your friend should be understanding of that. So... I'm gonna go with the top one. <laughs> Walking home with Natsuki, huh? Why does that thought make my heart- Why does the thought of Because we my made you pound? love her! <laughs> I mean... I think I'd be afraid of what she would do if <laughs> do to me if she turned down. Isn't she so cute and fun to be around? It has nothing <laughs> to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Hmm. <laughs> need you? Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone's different. No one in the club is a replacement for you. No. Hmm. You say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a <laughs> weird question. I can't just lie to her, but if there's something that makes me happy, makes her happy, I'd hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Who knows?